What's up everybody, this is Derek with the Nerd Cave Network, and today I'm going to be doing a Let's Play from the Nintendo hit Splatoon. And I've done a Let's Play from this game before, but since then I've leveled up past 10, which means that I can do ranked battles. And the cool thing about ranked battles is you can level up much quicker than in regular battles, and it, you do more interesting things than just doing Turf War. So, let's get right into the game. We're going to hear from our uh, favorite newscasters here, whose names I can never remember, but we're about to see. All right, so there's Callie and Marie. And these little news updates happen at the beginning of every time you turn the game on, so you can find out what the stages are, and they announce any DLC or uh, new weapons you can get. And these, these, uh, these here are for the uh, regular battles, so we don't have to worry about Hammerhead Bridge or the other one we just saw. And now the current ranked battle stages. So we've got Black Belly Skate Park, which is a good one. Haven't played on that one in a while. And then we have Camp Triggerfish, which is one of my favorites. It's fairly straightforward, but it's not uh, too simple, not too complicated. Until next time, stay fresh. Alright, so... Let's head to the lobby, and as you can see, I have a rank right beneath my level. You start at a C-, and you have to work your way up from there. So I've just barely gotten to a C. And we're going to go in here. Ranked battle. We're going to be doing some tower control, meaning that there will be a tower in the middle of the stage, and you or one of your teammates has to get on that tower and then it'll change to your team's color and it will go towards the enemy base and you have to ride it all the way to the base in order to win but if something happens where you keep losing control then whoever ended up getting closest to the enemy base will end up winning it's based off of distance so we're going to be playing at camp triggerfish and the important thing is to head directly for the tower and it's good if you have someone with a brush or a roller that can kind of lead the way so that way you can hurry to the uh, to the tower here which is what this guy's doing here so let's get on the tower and I've already died right off the bat fantastic wait to respawn as you can see the distance meter is decreasing the closer that we get to the base but if we lose control of the tower, then it's obviously going to change. But they're still going strong, surprisingly. That's, uh, this is pretty impressive, actually. And they took the tower. So now they'll be coming back this way. So let's see if we can cut them off over here. Oh, that might be cutting it a little too close for, for my liking. Might have sneak up on me. All right, so now that no one, uh, neither team was able to reclaim the tower, so it's going to move back to the center of the map. And then we have to go from there to try and get it back. One thing you can do, as you see, we have a slight lead over the blue team. If you can really just kind of keep them from getting closer, you can win without getting all the way back to the enemy base. Oh, 
but it's like the great Herman Edwards once said, you play to win the game. That's still taking some time off of the clock. And what's cool is, if you make it all the way to the enemy base, you get what's called a knockout win, meaning that you'll get even more experience points. And what's cool about ranked battles, and even if you do regular battles after you get to level 10, you get a win bonus, so you get even more points, usually around 1,000 points if you end up winning your, uh, your match. And he did not fall for that. So we made it slightly farther. Oh no, no, they're still still going strong. And they've taken the tower. But what's, what sucks for them is they have to ride the tower all the way back around. So hopefully we can cut these guys off. And, well, never mind. They, uh, This might actually seal the win. I have no idea. Ah, uh, no. That was really unfortunate. But we are going to be closer. There's no way they can really come back now. So it's really just kind of delaying the inevitable. Two, one, and game. And there's several other, well, we'll before I say that, we'll uh, see the final score here. And we won 68 to 46. Yay! And see so you get a win bonus of 1,300 points. I actually placed the highest on my team, not too shabby. And I'm up to level 12. But no, as far as uh, ranked matches go, they're, like I said, they're much cooler than uh, than regular battles. You can do other types of games as well. There's the Rainmaker where you get this giant gun and you have to carry it to the enemy base and you get to use it as a really powerful weapon. Uh, tower Control, those are the only two that I've played. It's uh, It's been really fun playing this game, and I hope to uh, give you guys some more. I know I wasn't exactly the most enthusiastic uh, in this Let's Play. I mean, it's it's kind of a intense game to get into, and usually when I play a multiplayer game or a shooter game like this, I, I kind of get in the zone. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will be doing some more Splatoon Let's Plays in the next couple of weeks, maybe some Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, bringing a little bit of Nintendo to the Nerd Cave Network YouTube channel. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Be sure to check out our podcast that comes out every Tuesday on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. And we'll have Let's Plays every day. Both me and Zach will be doing Let's Plays over the next several weeks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is Derek for the Nerd Cave Network. And have a week.